What's up YouTube for tonight's video we have a full pimp night catchphrases team Okay, this is another highly demanded team. I finally got around to it So uh, you better hit that like button guys. All right So basically this is summing up some of the random shit that I say in my videos um, It's it's a video basically pulling the piss out of me, which is fine. I'm, I'm all for that Leave those theme team suggestions in the comment section below guys Go do it. Um, if I sound a little tired in this video, um, I am actually really tired. Let's get to this one. Anyways, if you do want to have a good battle against me, you can um, come to my chat. Uh, the link is in the description. Um, I battle uh, anyone there at a random time of the day. All right, so I did a bomber snow um, for the freeze hacks, but I didn't want to do a high tier, so I went with Snowbuck. All right, so I'm going to get attracted by the Altaria lead here. Now, this was a Everlight Snova. I had uh, just four attacking moves on this thing. Um, I just went for Blizzard right off the bat there. I didn't get infatuated at all, and I take out the Altaria on turn one there. So that was a, a nice little turn there. All right, so I've got Giga Drain on this too. I've got Hidden Power Ground for fire types. Now, this was good. Perugly comes in, retaliates. I just hang on with 10 health. That was amazing lift there. And going for the uh, Blizzard here again. And guys, I take it out and I get the freaking crit too. And uh, yeah, w what a way to start the battle. Snowy killing two Pokemon. All right. Uh, so Luxray is going to come in here. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to speed this at all. Uh, but it's done an amazing job taking two Pokemon out already. So that's going to go for the Fire Fang there and take me out. That's all good though. Um, I was thinking what I should do to bring in against this. Uh, the Hail is still around too, so that wasn't really good for a couple of my other Pokemon. So I brought in Avalok in. Now Avalok is a defensive monster. I didn't think that Luxor would stay into this one. Okay, so uh, let me run you through my Avalok set. This is a bulky set. Uh, max health, max attack with brave nature I've got on this set. I've got Gyro Ball. I've got... Earthquake for fire types. I've got Avalanche and I've got Miracoat with Sturdy. So I went for the Miracoat here on the Lapras because I felt that it would go for a special attack and that takes out Lapras. So really, really nice at the moment. Uh, the, both uh, both these Pokemon going very nice. All right, so Source Buck uh, is going to come in here. Uh, it's going to go for the Substitute. I'm going to go for Avalanche. Just that was the most. Uh, sorry, I went for Gyro Ball. Excuse me. Um, it was. It's quite a far. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you see Avalog using Gyro Ball? What the fuck? Okay, so Substitute is going to fail there. Right. So the uh, Horn Leech is going to come my way. Since I've got nice base defense uh, there anyway, I'm going to take that rather nicely there. So Swordsbug is quite a quick Pokemon compared uh, to my Avalug, which is Brave Nature. I've also got, um, uh, I mentioned Citrus Berry there. Okay, so i got a little bit more health back there. Going for the Gyro Ball again. That was the most amazing animation ever. And uh, Swordsbug just hangs on with a tiny little bit of health. I'm, I'm trying to pull the piss out of myself here. And uh, the Double Edge actually doesn't take... Uh, me out there, but it's going to go down to recall there. So that's uh, that's good. Avalug's mighty. It's got so much defense. Okay. Um, now, we have the Ampharos coming out here. This is going to easily be able to outspeed me and take me out with the power gem here. I, I went for Earthquake there, but I knew that I could outsped because I'm running Brave Nature, which uh, hinders speed. Okay, so things are going absolutely wonderful at the moment. Bring in the mighty magic up here because uh, we're going to win this one 6 0, even though I've already lost Pokemon. Right, so going for the, uh, the splash there. Uh, and I need to get down to one health so I can uh, start spamming Flail. I don't get paralyzed, which is, you know, that actually doesn't happen too often. Now, Ampharos is going to swap out here, and uh, Luxray is going to come in to intimidate me, so my uh, Flail is not going to be as strong, sadly. I wanted to see how much it would do to Ampharos. Okay, so going for the Mighty Flail there uh, with Magikarp's attack, because we all know how big its attack is. Now, uh, the I actually get outsped there by the Luxray, which tells me it's Scarf, because Magikarp actually has pretty damn nice speed. Okay, so uh, swapping in... Uh, Effing crits now. Um, I'd use Seizure instead of Kingdra. Okay, so uh, obviously it's going to outspeed me there. And of course, I get the defense drop. I never saw that one coming. Going for the Surf here. And that's going to do pretty nice damage to the Luxray. Don't get a crit though. Um, so I have to swap out there. And that also, since you use Crunch, that definitely tells me that it's uh, Scarf. Okay, so bring in Heat Ball here. Um, this is my Sleep, sleep Talk Rest sets, which always gets rest. 
Okay, so um, I'm not very defensive. I'm more specially defensive on this set. But however, I do have leftovers, which is going to make up for um, you know, a little bit of uh, uh, damage recovery there. Okay, Ampharos is coming in. I thought this may uh, actually come in here. So going for the Fire Spin here. Now, this is a Fire Spin Toxic set with uh, Rest of Sleep Talk. It's not too bad there. And I've got Flash Fire there for um, just coverage with the Avalog too. So I can make some swap-ins there. Right. Uh, so I can see the uh, Ampharos has got leftovers too. So this thing is going to be uh, bulky and annoying. So I'm glad I've got it trapped in with a Fire Spin now. Okay, so going for Toxic this turn. I'm hoping it didn't miss, uh, which it didn't. Now, I've got the Toxic and the Fire Spin up on the Ampharos. So uh, this turn, I'm just going to go to sleep. Uh, Thunderbolt is going to be coming my way, and that does nice damage to me there. It's not overly tanky Pokemon. Even when you like max out its health and special defense, it's not super duper tanky. Okay, so we both got leftovers. And uh, here, I'm just going to go for the rest here. So I just... I was just, I, I didn't want to get critted. That was about the only thing I wanted to uh, avoid there. Um, like, I needed Toxic to rack up enough so I could put Ampharos in range of taking it out. Okay, so going for the rest here. You know, I bet you never saw that one coming. And uh, I'm going to get all my health back. Now, Ampharos obviously is going to go for the T Bolt this turn. Um, I didn't think there was much else that it could do. Like, it, it could swap into Luxray again if it had Volt Switch and maybe like Wild Charge, but I only had like a little bit of health left. So I was thinking. Um, it's, there's a very good chance that it's going to stay in. Okay, uh, so I was hoping here, since it's, since the whole pun up behind me was getting uh, rest with sleep talk, I was like, well, I wonder if I can actually get rest with sleep talk with this and called uh, you know, gets rest because uh, yeah, my, my luck is that bad, it probably would get all the attacking moves. All right, so going for sleep talk here. Come on, sleep talk rest. And what do you know, I get toxic, so I didn't get rest. But uh, it was pointless anyway because Ampharos is already... Uh, yeah, it's already poisoned. So Thunderbolt hitting really hard here. Um, I'm just leaving that one with uh, 40 health. Okay, so going for the second uh, Sleep Talk rest here. I'm going to be uh, dead this turn anyway. The whole, uh, As I said, the whole idea was just to stall out uh, this Ampharos there and get enough Toxic racking up there so it do some nice damage. Okay, I, I love the trapping. Uh, I love the little trapping strategies. They're so fun. Okay, so going for the final Sleep Talk rest here. I mean, what? Uh, so going for Sleep Talk. And guys... Gets rest, uses rest, hype! Okay, so I'm gonna go down to the Thunderbolt here. Woo! Okay, that was all good though. Um, I got that uh, nice toxic damage up. Uh, Ampharos is not gonna be in very good shape after this. So the battle is pretty close. We're both down to our last two Pokemon. I've got Seedra left, and I've got one more Pokemon uh, being my Smeagol. Now I think, um, what was this Smeagol about? Oh, this that was right. I, th I made some, sometimes I make really, uh, funny statements like uh, I don't know what to do now or I don't know what to do with these moves or something and the joke was Smeagol has like every move so yeah uh, basically just another jab at my um, uh, silly commentary okay but oh, I'm totally fine with that all right so going for the uh, knockoff there on uh, the, the it's not the Lapras uh, the Ampharos which takes it out uh, Luxray is going to come in there and uh, it's going to go for the wild treasure it just hangs on there and I'm going to go for the explosion on Smeagol and guys, what a way to finish the battle. I was going to go for Dragon Ascent, but uh, I was afraid it actually was <laughs> was not going to kill because I got intimidated and Smeagol's got like one attack. A uh, very close battle in the end. Hope you guys enjoy this one. It's been a very long time. Peace.